Okay, so uh, we're going to look at the journal entries associated with the issuance of cash dividends. Um, the chapter talks about stock dividends and stock splits and uh, that stuff. I'm not lecturing on that and I'm not going to demonstrate that. I'm not testing on those either, but we do need to know how to record uh, the cash dividend. So we're going to look at quick study 11-6. All right, and the charge of the question is simply to prepare journal entries for the following transactions for Emerson Company. All right, so on July 15th, declared a cash dividend payable to common stockholders of $165,000. All right, so that declaration would have come from the board of directors and um, as of that date, it's a liability, so we have to record it, right? Dividends are a distribution of retained earnings. Retained earnings has a normal credit balance, so when we're declaring dividends, we have to reduce retained earnings. All right, so we'll debit retained earnings, and of course the credit, we gotta put a liability on the books. We'll call it a payable. So much of an account payable, but we'll call it uh, dividend payable. All right, and I think connect would be, uh, let's be consistent. I think it would, would want you to do common dividend payable. All right. And that just lets you know it's going to the common shareholders. All right, so we've recorded the declaration of a common dividend uh, with that entry, all right? Now on August 15th, um, date of record is August 15th for the cash dividend declared on July 15th, all right? That, the significance of that date isn't really meaningful from an accounting standpoint. It is from the stockholder standpoint, because if you sell your shares on August 14th, you wouldn't get the dividend, even though you earned it, you owned the stock on July 15th when the dividend was declared. All right. So whoever owns the stock on August 15th will get the dividend check that is later paid on the 31st. So no entry on August 15th from an accounting perspective, all right? On August 31st, however, that's the payment date, all right? And this looks not unlike the payment of any other payable. So we'll debit the dividend, credit cash. All right, and that's how we journalize uh, the declaration and subsequent payment of cash dividends. All right.